So welcome back to the channel. My name is Coach Ben. Today's topic, it's a video that I've been thinking about for a while because of COVID and everything that's happening with the seasons being, you know, moved around and nothing really working, I guess, is the way it's supposed to be. And what I wanted to talk about today was the idea of just enjoying the process. So in today I wanted to talk about why I think coaches should enjoy the process. So if you're getting into coaching, more than likely you have a undesirable passion for the sport, right? There's no other reason why you would get into coaching if, if you don't really care about the sport. There's so many other professions out there that can give you a lot of money, can give you a lot of, I guess, financial freedom, or I guess make life a little easier. One of them is not coaching unless, you know, you're an ex-professional player and you're jumping down immediately into getting your, you know, your professional license and your coaching professional teams. For the vast majority of us coaches out in the world, we're working our way up the ladder, you know, doing odd jobs here and there until we finally catch that one big break where now we're making a lot of money, we're a little bit better, you know, it's a little less stressful. But I say that to say is that over the past couple of weeks, especially during all this COVID stuff that I've been thinking about, why I'm doing coaching, why I like coaching, and it just occurred to me that I should really enjoy the process that I'm in, okay? And, and what I mean by the process that I'm in, it's working in the grassroots doesn't pay you a lot, but it's rewarding. Working in the college game pays you okay, definitely rewarding, a bigger stepping stone to something larger in terms of uh, another position Working high school, it's giving this, it's helping those kids that are in high school getting to the next level. So every phase and every kind of job or position you're at, it's going to be rewarding. And for me, especially right now, we, you know, COVID that's hitting, we actually just went back to having youth soccer where you can do 1v1 or one person on a ball, two people on a ball. So it's very limited. But I was at one of those practices and it just occurred to me that I should just sit back and enjoy this process right now because it's a learning experience for me and it's an opportunity for me to get better as a coach, to try new things, to really express myself as a coach because in a normal season or a regular year, I would be so busy that I'd be going from one job to the next job to the next job to the next job, not really being able to sit back and reflect about why I really like it, what can I take away from this training session or just during a training session take a step back and think about man why do I really love this why am I doing it why am I so passionate and answering those questions I think people put a lot of emphasis and I think it works against you because you're always trying to get to the next level you're always trying to get to the next job you're always trying to push it when reality I think if it's meant to happen it's gonna happen right now, I, I still interview for other places. I still send out resumes and stuff like that just because, you know, I never know whether or not one of those will work out, but I don't put my focus there. My focus is entirely on the ones that I'm working at now. I try to be as present as possible because I'm trying to take these opportunities, working, for example, in the grassroots, I'm trying to take these opportunities to learn as much as I can, right? So I'm reading about grassroots education, the foundation phase, ways to make the kids be more proactive in their discovery of the sport or how to get them to be more engaged or how to get them to not click off. So it's things like that where if I were to just, if, if I'm just doing grassroots to make money, not really caring about that phase and how that's going to affect me as a coach, then I wouldn't really worry about that and I would just use it to make some money. And now that I have that on my CV, I'm going out and trying to find a better job or applying for bigger jobs that I think, you know, that will help me get somewhere as opposed to just enjoying the process. And for me right now during COVID, it's especially uh, enjoyable because it's not as chaotic or stressful. So I really am able to enjoy the process, right? I enjoy Mondays now. Now Mondays you're able to wake up and go to go to practice uh, as limited as it may be, but you're able to work on stuff as a coach. And, and I've been very proactive in taking steps back and reflecting on my training sessions, reflecting on what I did good as a coach, what I did bad as a coach, how I can improve as a coach, areas that I do need to improve that I already know, and now I have the opportunity to do that. 
being more responsible when it comes to the administrative work, being more thorough and detailed. All of those I've been able to do because of the situation I'm in now. And I'm able to enjoy it because I guess it's not as stressful, but I'm enjoying the process of all of that. I'm enjoying learning all of this, the other side of coaching and the other side of the, the football world that you wouldn't necessarily get because everyone is trying to go from here to there to there and everywhere. So if you're a new coach and you're entering the world of football right now during COVID, I would not stress so much about jumping to the next level so quickly. You can still do it like I do. I still apply for jobs. I still look at other jobs and send out resumes to see you know, how I, how I fare against other candidates and stuff. But I'm not relying on those as opposed to focusing and making the best of what I have now because I know that those relationships that I build with the directors of coaching, the presidents or other coaches in general, they are going to help me in the future more so than me going out by myself, sending resumes and trying to, to make it on my own without help. So enjoying the process of building relationships and building your own coaching profile and coaching personality I think is so important and you should really take the time now to do that because in the springtime it's going to be so crazy because all the seasons are going to be lumped together you're going to see a lot of stressed out people that probably aren't going to be very helpful um, that and probably aren't going to want to help you get to the next level or maybe not have the time literally not have the time to help you so i would really enjoy the process now learn everything you can that you wouldn't have the time elsewhere so for example you know learn work on your cvs or your resumes work on analyzing players work on you know building different planning uh, training sessions for different kind of topics read as many books as you can watch as many videos as you can because obviously coaching is limited because of the covid restrictions and, regu and regulations and stuff so being as proactive on the other side off the field you're never going to have another moment like this to do it um and and that's kind of what i've been thinking the past couple of weeks is how how i've been able to take a step back uh how i've been more proactive off the field and i think i've never been happier to be honest with you i've never been happier being able to study material and try to uh and try to put that into my practice you know try to to implement that as i read it as i learn about it really trying to test it um so that's today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it um i've been thinking about it for a couple weeks now and i finally got around to making it if you guys share the same sentiments or if you guys want to have a discussion, please leave a comment down below. I, I always try to reply to every single one. I love the community and I always want to help the community. So if you, again, it my offer to any players or coaches, if you're new to the world or you want to make it to the next level, send me a highlight video, send me a resume, send me anything, ask me questions. I'm receiving lots of emails and I try to get back to you guys. Um, if I haven't, don't worry, I will. But let me help you. I will be as transparent as possible. I will give you the honest answer even if I do not know it. But that's what I feel like I need to do. I need to help as many people as I can. So my email is down in the description. You can send the email here or you can reach me on Instagram also down below. Let me know what you guys got. Hit me up with some questions. I got some answers. Peace.